Pour ça, Maligro! 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 <laughs> What's up? Mark Scotti uh, reporting here on Halloween, Halloween, New York City. So I want to do a, uh, let's do a little, little celebration for um, Cesar Syak. Not a celebration, but a shout out for Mr. Syak, the alleged bomber in the alleged uh, fake bomb incident. Uh, because the likelihood is that this guy is, is not getting a fair trial. He, he, it, it's, he's getting thrown under the bus by his own family. He has people getting close to his family. They're likely to damage his family, damage him, trying to steer him into the ditch. All right. So, look, this could happen to anybody in America. Is that is that really is that is that where we are right now? Because I, I I think so. I tend to uh, I tend to think that that's what's going on. Right now. So let's just read some of the um, some of the evidence. This is a I keep it brief. This is a this is for. Uh, says Osayak, it's likely that he doesn't see any TVs or, or newspapers. And if he does see a TV, it's likely jaded. It's likely a, 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 a figment of, of the uh, law enforcement's imagination to, to kind of control him into thinking one thing uh, when something else is really going on. He may not even know what, where he is or what state he's in or anything. And so so the, only, um, the only evidence on the record right now that says Osayak did what they said he did, which is send 15 bombs through the mail, and two of which were on foot to prominent de- Democrats, Obama, Clinton, we know the list, right? All these, all these people, right? Got, got a fake bomb in the mail, right? That's, a, that's the allegation, right? But what we, what we have not seen is the actual evidence. We've seen no, no testimony from the guy. We've seen no... You know, no, no manifesto, right? Usually, guys that do that shit will put out a manifesto, right? You know, they they'll go to Facebook and they'll, they'll fucking put out like this, you know, a CD full of like, I I want to fucking blow everybody up and fucking blow this motherfuckers up, man. We're fucking that shit, man. You can, they can't take me. You can take me fucking. They're not taking me alive. I'm gonna fucking shoot the place up. <laughs> right? They'll do that, right? That's the M.O. of a, of a guy that, uh, that's on a, on a mission, right? Like Timothy McVeigh. Remember when he blew up the Oklahoma City, the Oklahoma City bombing when he blew up that building? He left a manifesto. Right? They all do. Right? Not here. Right? So, but well, what we do have, says the FBI, is that we have, a, we have a fingerprint. We have one fingerprint on a piece of tape, right? right? But meanwhile, if... if if that's his van, then you would have a fingerprint on every one of those stickers because it's almost impossible to, to make a sticker. To do a sticker, I'm going to do one right now. See, this is a sticker, right? And to peel off a sticker, right? See, let me see, I'm peeling off a sticker. Look, my finger just hit the sticker, right? And I'm peeling off a sticker. This is a really good sticker, by the way. You can buy these on eBay. Right? Oops, I made a mistake, right? So I got I to gotta dig this fucking shit off my shit before I... Look how many times I touch... Look how many times I touch the sticker, right? I touch the sticker... Right, my thumb is all over this motherfucker right now, right? 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 So so there, right? There's a sticker. Here's a sticker with my fingerprint on the sticker, right? And he's got a whole van full of stickers. Where's the fingerprints? Where's the fingerprints on the sticker? Right? Alright. So what else? They say, okay, so you got, got a fingerprint. Whoop the fucking do, right? What about what about if I if I go out and, and um I say, yo, hold my beer, you know? Yo, 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 hold my beer, hold my beer. Right? Once I put my hand on that beer, right, you got me. There's the print, right? There's the print. If you're a professional, you got the print, right? Oh, it's bullshit. Blow your nose. Yeah. Oh, fucking blood and everything, right? DNA, right? So is that what we're talking about? That's the whole thing that puts him at the scene, okay? So there's no bomb-making evidence, Right? So you're going to, where's, how did he get, they said he used pyrotechnic uh, uh, p- powder, right? So where's the, where's the, what store did he go to? Where? In Florida. Where? For, where did he buy the fireworks, right? Did he cut the fireworks up and make bombs? Where did he get the shit? Where did he buy the 12 clocks, right? Where did he buy the wire? Why did, where did he buy the PCV cable? Where's the hacksaw? Where's the where's the, the, the photographic evidence of a bomb making factory inside of that van? Show it to us. Where is it? Where did he where did he buy the envelopes? Where did he buy the 
the the six stamps per envelope. Where's the receipt for the where's the where's the where's the post office uh, uh, documentation of the of the stamps? Where is it? Show it to us, right? Show us the evidence, right? So no bomb making evidence, right? You would have receipts for everything. You would have every every store. I've never been to a you know a Staples. Or those they sell cameras. You don't think they have cameras set up where they would catch the guy on film? No. They this is this is that is, that is an impossibility. Right. And let's uh, let's talk about the van. Right. So the van is likely, as I showed you, has fingerprints all over the stickers. Right. Show us show us that show us that. Right. And if he did do it. Let's hear from his own mouth, because I, su I suspect that he could have done this, but he had somebody egging him on, right? Like he had some guy right behind him, right? There's more to the, the he the, I, I am not buying the lone wolf, the, the lone wolf theory, right? I'm not buying the lone wolf theory. I'm not buying the theory that, that he was, he was initially. CIA or FBI, a uh, sleeper cell. I, I'm not. I'm not there yet. I'm not ready to believe that, because the evidence doesn't go in that direction, right? It doesn't go in that direction. It goes more in the direction of a cover up, it, where where he's a patsy. He's a. He thinks he's doing something good, and he's and he's righteous, and he's maybe he maybe they do have. They, I'm certain they have. Look, in the end of the day, they will, the CIA or whoever builds the case against him, will in fact have significant evidence to hang him or even, you know, 50 years, right? They'll do that. They'll fabricate the, the evidence. But, but, but the point is, I don't think that, I think it's more that where there's manufactured evidence to hold a guy who appears to be mentally ill, appears to be out there a little bit. Now you have the family coercing, you know, you know, hammering down on that story. You've got the uh, the the uh, the Democratic operative or whatever he is, the the crises operative, uh, uh, Robert L Lowy, Mr. Lowy, Ronald Lowy was his name, Robert Robert Lowy, right? Robert Robert Lowy, right? Is the new is the new you know Berkman and Bauman from the Seth Rich case? The the, the crises operatives that step in and save the day, right? But they don't save it for the client. They what client? What client evidence? What client? What lawyer tells his client that I won't seek bail for you because the because the charges are too severe? I never heard of anything like that. I've never heard of anything like that, right? What what lawyer goes on TV and bashes you and says you have the the mentality of a 14-year-old? And then wants to represent you. So the whole, the whole story, now of this this operatives surrounding the family is very very scary because, you know, this this there is reason to believe that Seth Rich's family was threatened or given some sort of, some sort of fictitious deal where oh your son's in trouble, and he better take that plea or we're gonna throw the, the shit shit away at him. We're gonna throw the book away at him. He doesn't even know if he did it. Listen, he's saying he didn't do it. No, we know he did it. You know, you don't know what's going on at the um, the micro level, right? So we have to again. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt that he's not an informant; that he is, in fact, a straight up patsy. Uh, what other, what other evidence don't we have? We don't have a single photograph of him in that van, right? No traffic stop. No one ever saw him in the van. No one saw him drive the van, get out of the van, go into the van, sleep in the van. There's nothing. There's no... Where? Where's the... Show me a picture. Show me a picture. That's all I want to see. Show me a picture of him in the van. Days today where everybody's got a, a video camera, no video of the... Oh, shit, look at the fucking Trump van. Oh, look at the fucking Trump van. Oh, shit, guys, it's fucking... He's got this fucking... Guys driving around in a fucking Trump van. Fucking shit, right? Right? Where's the Trump van photo? Where's the Trump van video? There's there's nothing. It's not there. How many traffic light? How many traffic cameras? Cameras everywhere. Little fucking his big brother was watching everywhere. Where's the fucking picture? <coughs> Where's the picture? Give me a fake picture so I can at least tell you it's fake. Right? No postmarks. No postmarks. No postmarks. He mailed thirteen bombs in the mail, and there's no. 
no postmarks, no 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 camera at the post office, no fucking carrier saying, "Oh shit, well oh, fucking I carried a bomb." You guy, man, I delivered the shit. I've got a, no testimony from a postal worker. Thirteen postal workers carrying bombs in their bag. CNN. New York Times reports CNN got theirs uh, via courier. Somebody walked the bomb into CNN's messenger center. Where's the fucking camera? I went there myself. Cameras everywhere. One, two, three, five, seven. Cameras everywhere. Not a single picture that that story of that part of the story. That's the big hole because the New York Times said it, and CNN didn't def- didn't didn't uh, disavow that statement. You know, full twenty four hours later. I don't even know if they did, but they, I don't because the story's getting mixed up now. And the evidence, they've withdrawn all of the evidence. Unheard of in an FBI investigation. Unheard of. Right? When, they, when they had that, when they, when they caught the guy, like, you know, the guy that ran over, the, that crazy guy that ran over the tourists on the West Side Highway, right? they knew, it, within, a, within a few hours, they knew where he rented the car. They knew the exact path he took, right? They had the, the satellite path that he drove from Patterson, New Jersey, over the George Washington Bridge, down the west side, and they knew exactly. They had him. They had him in, in in a few hours, right? That's the FBI at their best. NYPD converging, but in this case, you see it that the NYPD and the local authorities have been told to step step down, get away, pull back, and the FBI is now guarding this case, Patsy, All right, no doubt about it. So. So we have to we have to say at this point we have to give the guy the benefit of the doubt because it's very likely that he's in a little cell somewhere in Florida he's getting shot up with you know Thorazine and all kinds of medications because he's a sick man right somebody has also said I mean there's speculation that this is an attack on a, 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 a an effort to frame. Uh, Americans, the deplorables, if you will, as mentally ill and thereby getting permission to prosecute people like like preemptive, preemptive prosecution. Oh, you're sick. We're taking you into custody. And then they set up these these uh, these, uh, you know, medical jails where people can be taken into custody like that. You know, that's that does sound about right. And that does what would be the motive? Oh my God! It's it's an it's a new industry, it's a new industry, and I mean it, it feeds into the the prison industrial complex, but it also it, it exacerbates the pharmaceutical industrial complex because you're giving power to doctors and hospitals and medical people who then have the i they have the the ability to to judge your mental health from a distance. Right. And any behavior that doesn't coincide with the behavior that they'd like you to behave is then is then considered crazy. And you would become subjected to, uh, I don't know, you know, it's thought police. Those thoughts. We don't like those thoughts. That's right out of George Orwell, 1984. We don't like those thoughts. The thought police are coming to get you. We're coming to get you. We're coming to get you. Right. That is a theory. And and there is substantial mounting evidence that things are going in that direction, right? A, 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 an attack on the First Amendment. Shh, don't talk. No, shh. Oh, you said, you said a black dress like white and a white dress like black. No, no, no. See, the, the black can dress white, but the white can't dress black. Shaw, black face, you're out. What happened to Megyn Kelly, right? You saw that shit? That's a shame, man. She's a fine, that's a fine piece of ass right there. That is one fine piece of ass, and she, right? They fired her, or well, she quit, right? For saying, for saying, uh, uh, she, you know, she dressed. She, oh, she dressed a little dark. What a shame! What a tragedy that's happening in our country that that people can't speak openly anymore. But it leads into the bomber. We have to have uh, respect on this Halloween. We don't know where any of this leads. There's no, there's no. I, I after this election, we may see some. Evidence. We have to see how he appears at court. They said he's going to appear in in a Manhattan court. I, I'm I'm a, I'm two blocks away. You know I'm I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there to see if if there's a real person coming up and down those stairs. What is what is his condition? 
right? Those sorts of things. We'll take a look, right? I'm sure the cameras will be on the on, on even main, you know, mainstream media will cover that. So that's that's where we're at. Let's have this um let's let's be um let's be supportive of a guy a, a situation that, that very well could have happened to any one of us in my view so far. That this is a um this is a travesty of justice. This is a high-end psyop that it's just maybe one patsy like they don't consider one life lost one one guy down is really a loss at all that's the kind of mentality we're dealing with right now to 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 abuse this guy and 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 ultimately kill him or drive him crazy is not a is not a big loss if they could steal an election right that's where we're at right now in america that is where we're at in america so my name is Marcus Conti. Happy Halloween. Peace out.